Hi, my name is Keys, and welcome back to my channel. All right, so today um, I'll be drawing a portrait with my own Procreate brush. Now I'm gonna use the word "own" very loosely because all I did was like swipe some dials <laughs> on the create brush section and this you see right here is the drawing I created as a test drawing for the brushes um I would be on Instagram sometimes and I would see a lot of artists who create their brushes and a lot of people sell their brushes I could never sell my brushes because I don't know how to create brushes when I created this it was I think I just got lucky um it's just a um a standard um airbrush and I just you know modified some things I don't even remember what I did um um, I tried to recreate the brush and I just got another different brush because I didn't know what I did but anyways um I'm going for a very tropical vibe you know like fruits um, she's drinking some mysterious drink with like seven different colors she looks like she's from the Caribbean you know what I'm talking about yeah that's what I'm going for waves all right so um, I started with the sketch and then I had to do another sketch to basically um, just close everything in so the first sketch is just like a broad a broad version and then the second sketch is me closing in everything don't mind the editing i know she has four eyes but it's okay i, I was just experimenting but anyways um i made each lines of um each element of her character a different color just because i want to look pretty and then afterwards i colored them to the actual colors i was gonna make them so i made her the lines for her skin brown the lines for her hair black and her head and so on and so on and after i add my base colors um the next thing i do is add highlights um pretending that she's standing in the sun somewhere so those highlights really you know where she's facing and then i add some shadows and then afterwards then i would um then i would prepare for blending all right so anyways um the fruit splashing in the background is like it was the one thing i was sure about i wanted her to be drinking something and i kind of wanted her to be wearing a hat and i wanted her to be showing them titties i'm just kidding but the thing i knew for sure that i want to show was the fruits in the background and it's because i'm obsessed with fruits splashing in water for some reason they just look really refreshing and I just really like it and also you ever see the Neutrogena commercials when the lady is washing her face and she just splashes all the water in her eyes you never see them yeah. we'll watch some afterwards all right so <clears throat> I don't know what she's drinking I'm thinking maybe like a slushy like she looked like she's got a parade somewhere orange juice um, and she's got the the slice of lime and the place where I got my reference picture from was um, Pinterest as always because I love Pinterest I just I just searched for drinking pose um, and then I found this lady and I was like wow exactly it's exactly what I was looking for and I knew I wanted to draw someone who's dark skinned so the color of the lady didn't really matter I just cared about the pose and I really like her shirt so at first I was giving her something that covered her chest area but then I was like free the titties I'm just kidding but then I was like this looks much better and it goes with her jewelry so that's why I chose to give her outfit that look um, and I also kept the hat because I felt it was a nice touch to the summer vibe Everybody's stuck inside their house right now, so we're not really going anywhere. But I feel like this is the summer somebody would be having. You know what I'm saying? Without. Yes, without Miss Rona. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, and the fruit splashing is just supposed to add a nice touch of, are you thirsty yet? This sounds weird. <laughs> no, I meant, I meant like, you know when you're like, when you're really hot and you just really need some water or some juice or something to just cool you down quench. this is yet yeah, quench your thirst this is what this is supposed to be you know and i needed those fruits to be in the background splashing in the water i'm very passionate about this subject but anyways right. um <clears throat> i just i really know I, I knew that i wanted red and my sister suggested i made i make her have heterochromia like giving her eyes two different colors um at first her eyes were just gonna be hazel but then she was like make one blue make one green yes sir <laughs> But, um, so I did that because I also thought it fit with the bright, um, colors. I'm not sure. Um, there aren't a lot of people who would have this trait. I'm sure there are probably very little. I know there are black people with blue eyes. Yes. Yeah, and blonde hair, but blue eyes and green eyes. <clears throat> okay, but anyways, um, and her hair is just supposed to be flowing in the wind. You know, just very beautiful and she's just supposed to look like she's chilling. At first I was going for more emotion, but the more I blended her in, 
the more stealth she looked. She didn't. She doesn't look that bad, but the more blending I did, like, like when you, when you're drawing a character and you don't, and you blend everything, and sometimes it looks really good, of course, but sometimes, especially for me, it gets difficult to show emotion when everything is just so smoothly blended in. So I was trying my best. I didn't smudge anything in this drawing. I just blended in with like in between colors, and I was trying my best not to make her face look too smooth because I felt like that it it, it got. Her characteristics got lost, you know. And also, I just um, created this brush, so I'm not really sure how the brush works. So I was just, I was just doing my thing, and then eventually stuff started coming together. So after I went and I did a lot, a lot of blending, um, eventually I had to kind of begin um, detailing everything. So everything that looked rough I had to smooth them out not too smooth but I had to basically you see how her face looks and compare her face to her shirt right now you see how her shirt looks versus her face like I'm just smoothing everything out making everything look really nice all right <clears throat> so after I did a lot of the blending um I went in on well not a different yeah I think a different layer basically to add extra details so fixing her fingers fixing her fingernails and the fingernails were another big deal because um before um when you first start out as an artist you avoid hands like the plague and then after you learn how to draw hands you avoid fingernails like the plague because i can tell you no matter what fingernails never come out right so i took it as a personal challenge to myself to make her fingernails look really nice and also the red fingernails matches her lips and her shirt so she looks very fashionable and cute and yes that's it all right <clears throat> So yeah, um, and I did, um, yeah, her hands took a lot of time and I did heavily reference the reference picture um, in order to fix her hand and make sure her hands look really nice because I felt like blending them in was really important and I had to make sure they were done right because her hands are really kind of in the center of this drawing. Not really, but when you look at this drawing, you focus on her hands, you see her hands. So if they look like wonky sausages, you would notice you know so I had to make sure her hands look really nice and then I went in and I fixed her shirt fixed her shirt um, also taking a lot of notes from the reference picture because I want her shirt to look really nice like a bright red but not too bright and saturated so after I did some of the lines and I went and I fixed a lot of the blending I went back in to add some highlights um, and I did like five layers of highlights because I was trying to gradually add the highlights like I didn't want to just add a white line for highlights so I had to go in and I had to gradually add more and more highlights so that it could it could blend in nicely like her boobs like they look like <laughs> stop it but um they look really nice <clears throat> and her hair i didn't want her the highlights for her to become oh shit we're done all right um enjoy the review <laughs> Forget the forgot the video was ending, but yeah, here's my Instagram. If you'd like to follow me on there, I'll post some stuff in my Twitter, which I hardly use. Um, I just want to share my fan art, and yeah.